Hey, hey, what's up, Park Hoppers? Hello, and welcome back. Welcome back to another video, and today we're going to talk about... Face masks. It's more specifically, the ones from Shop Disney. Yep. All right, Park Hoppers. So we got our face masks from Shop Disney, like Nick said. We got two different packs. We got the Marvel pack and the Star Wars pack. They both came with four. We got the large. The large, yeah. Yes, they come in, what are they, three different sizes? Small, medium, and large? I believe so, yeah. Yeah, small, medium, large. Uh, I know if you do go into the Disney store, they do have individual pam, individual masks for sale. But if you do it online, you could only buy the four pack right now. And so the four pack was $19.99. Uh, we pre-ordered ours back in April, the end of April. Um, after tax and shipping, everything came to uh, $27.95 per four pack. So yes. that's what it broke down to. So that pre-sale took a while to get here, um, but they were finally delivered last week. Uh, if you follow us over on Instagram, uh, then you would have seen the pictures we posted. We did a little photo shoot showing off each one. Um, they're really cool designs, I think. They are. Um, I think they're, they got very creative with what they could do. Um, like my favorite is this one. But yeah. yeah, Hulk looks pretty good. So do you want to go over pros and cons right now? Yeah, let's go over pros first. Okay, pros. Um, they are to help stop spread germs. They will help your Disney bound. They will definitely go some <laughs> Disney bound. So let me um, see, this is the one I've been wearing a lot. We've, I've been wearing either this Star Wars one or the red Marvel one. Um, I think they look really good. Uh, as far as some pros, I think, uh, other than the design of them, I do really like the breathability. Yes. Like I think when you're putting a mask on, you know, you're, you definitely can get pretty hot and we've been using a lot of homemade ones and they are definitely thicker than this. Mm -hmm. And this isn't so bad when you're breathing into it. I didn't get as hot. So no. we've been testing them out. That's why we didn't want to do a review right away. We kind of wanted to like see Wear how we like them. We've been wearing to the grocery store or to pick up food. And just get an idea. Um, I do like that they're a little, uh, they're not quite fitted for your nose, but they do fit snugly on mine. And so it's kind of nice because I don't fog up my sunglasses when I wear them as bad. So, um, yeah, the designs are awesome. Baby Yoda is super cute. He is super cute. I mean, that's that's just adorable, period. So some of the pros, <laughs> you need your cup. I know. Um, some of the pros, I would say, yeah, is the design and the breathability for sure. Um, you're definitely paying, they're, they're kind of expensive, but you're paying for that, that, licensing. that licensing, that official brand. Yeah. Um, some of the cons though, let's talk about some of the cons. Number one, number one con, this tag. Yeah. Every single one of them have it. I get it from a merchandising point of view, like clothing, you have to have all of your labels in there, but that could have easily been ironed on like mm -hmm. most tagless shirts now yeah printed um, on yeah um you'll notice that so this is one of the ones we've been wearing a lot we cut the tag off because when you put it on let's just imagine that it was facing the right way that tag is right over your mouth like it yeah. literally they put it right in the middle of the mask it sits on your lips the entire time you're wearing it now they probably and then we, like you could see i don't know if you guys could see my lipstick mark from right now like yeah yeah they probably assume that you're gonna cut them off i mean they probably right. do but I do think, I didn't even think about like the ironed on or printed on. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the shirt I'm wearing now is tagless right. and it's printed on. It's yeah. not that big of a deal. It's not that hard, but I mean, again, I, can't, I know where they're coming from, but it's one less thing to worry about if they didn't have it. Yeah, and having it touch your lips is like super normal. Yeah. It doesn't feel good at all. No, um, it's all like, it's that typical like waxy type. So yeah. like it automatically clings to your lips as you're talking. But, you know, as far as cons go, that one's easily solvable, at least, because right. you can just cut it. I uh, just have to be careful not to get it too low so you don't pull out some of the stitching. But, it, I mean, I cut them, and I'm not really, uh, like, I'm like a gorilla with scissors. So, uh, it worked out fine. Right. The bigger con, I think, is that all four that we ordered are the large size, and... They're not consistent in th size. Three of them basically don't fit. Yeah. Um, they'll fit Crystal a little bit more snug, but you can see when I put this one on very easy it goes over my ears easily 
And it's been like this since day one. It's not stretched out. It's been like yeah. this day one. So it fits awesome. If I try to put this one on, this is R2. Same size, you can see it's a large, so it's the biggest size they make. It's like a struggle to get it over my ears. Like and then once it's over my, my ears. ears, it pulls them forward quite a bit. So you can notice the other Marvel wasn't doing that. So, um, and it's not just like it's one Star Wars or the other one, it's that- um, It feels like it's two per pack. Yeah, well, yeah. That's basically what it felt like. Yeah, it's pretty close. Even Wakanda. Yeah. Was one. Yep. The Black Panther mask was definitely a little tighter. And like, this is comparing it to like one that we hardly wear. Yeah. Like you can see the difference. We actually only wore that one for, for the, photo the photo shoot. shoot. So I mean, we wore them all for the photo shoot for the same amount of time. So if they were going to stretch out, they would have equally right. stretched out. Yes. And you can tell that, you know, this one is not only shorter here, but also the loop is substantially smaller. Yes. You know? So... You know, that's kind of a big deal and it's something that we've seen people talking about online mm -hmm. too we had a couple comments on our picture on instagram saying hey at least all yours fit and it's like well they actually didn't yeah um so with that in mind do we feel like these were a good value for 27.95 so for eight masks we spent basically 60 bucks i don't think so. i don't i don't think they're a good value i wouldn't purchase these again yeah and then the other thing i know like people were posting that that have actually gone into the Disney store. We haven't yet. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if we will yet. They do have the measuring tape, like strip paper that you can measure here to here, here to here. But if these aren't consistent in size, how do you know what measurement to go with? Right. And I mean, and that's the big thing. Like we went with large for both packs because we figured they should fit my big dome. And they, big and they should fit Crystal, even if they were maybe like a little bigger on right. her. But the large seems to fit Crystal pretty well for most mm -hmm. of them. It's it's definitely the hoops. I bet you if we cut these and restitch them, we could get all of them fitting the way we wanted. Right. But when you spend almost $30 for four masks, right. you don't really want to have to cut them and restitch them. So, you know, hindsight is 2020. We we ordered these when, is that stitch already coming out? It is. I so just we, saw we it. literally haven't even worn this mask yet, except I for the photo shoot. I haven't worn the except for the photo shoot. And the stitch is already coming out. So we have to fix them already. I, I think the quality is not that good. I like the material a lot. Like I said, it's really breathable. Mm -hmm. But, you know, had we not ordered these on pre-order and we waited for people's reviews, we would not have ordered these. So hopefully our review helps you. Yeah, hopefully the review will help people. If you've ordered them and haven't got them, maybe see if you can cancel your review, honestly. You know, go on Etsy, shop around on Instagram if you're looking for oh, some yeah. mask makers. Um, you know, there are a ton of Etsy shops out there that are making masks right Definitely. now. And they're honestly much better than this and you're supporting a small business right now. Um, so if you will make masks, you know, put it down in the comments so people can see you. Let them head over to your shop, you know, let's support small business. Heck yeah. You know, good job Disney for trying, but I think that the inconsistencies here are just not I just not think from being a big company, you're expecting higher quality. Yeah, for sure. Like I expect every time when you buy, like if you go to a Disney park and you wear a 2X in Disney shirts, like you expect your 2X shirt to fit like, pretty right. much the same because it's one brand, Right. you know? But when you're like, these masks are just, they're too inconsistent for the price. I expect more from Disney themselves or from any major mask maker, to be honest. It's not just Disney, any major company making masks, like there's no exception. I mean, these are mostly, they're not handmade. No. They're machine made. So somebody set a machine. So I would be interested to know which masks did you order that didn't fit right? Because I've seen a lot of people talking about it in comments, which ones didn't fit? Yeah. If you got the, the Star Wars pack, let me get all our Star Wars ones together real quick. One, two, three, four. Um, it seems like... It's like the Star Wars, the one that says Star one Wars. This is norm, or the larger size, we'll say. The Star Wars logo is the larger size. And then R2... Was really small. Is smaller, the smallest of them. And then Baby Yoda is the smaller. So it feels like we have a small, medium, and a large. Two larges. Yeah. That's what it feels like we have for the Star Wars pack. But they're all clearly marked large. So, yes. you know, but let us know in the comments if you ordered them, which ones didn't fit for you. It'd be interesting to see if it's the same. Maybe they had a couple bad runs, but yeah. nice try. No, I, I mean, like the designs. I do. I really like the designs. And like I said, they will help out Disney Bounds, like, become bigger pieces, maybe. 
Um, yeah, who knows? Who knows how long they'll be around? Hopefully, everybody's staying at home and. Yeah, well, I mean, with, like, the Disney parks, like, Disney World, if it still reopens on the 15th, is planned. So, I mean, there's a good option for people to wear right. masks, and if this is what it takes for people to wear masks, then that's great. But definitely, um, you're better off probably just supporting a small company. Agree. So, skip these ones. All right, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you Hulk smash that like button. Boop, boop, beep, beep, boop, boop, boop. And like R2 said, make sure you subscribe. Boop, boop. We'll see you guys next time. All right, Pock Harpers. <laughs> <laughs>